Time magazine says a new political ad features women reading Trump's off-color quotes about women. This is part of a barrage of anti-Trump commercials. His opponents have spent more than $24 million in the past two weeks on attack ads. That is more than half of all the money spent on Republican ads over that time. Jeff Gore looks at the ad war against the Trump campaign. Jeff, good morning. Charlie, good morning to you. The ad you mentioned is the newest attempt by Republican candidates and the super PAC supporting them to weaken Donald Trump as they write checks at will. One conservative group is raising millions with the sole promise of spending it to attack the front runner. Bimbo, dog, fat pig. Real quotes from Donald Trump about women. Donald Trump campaign violence. Donald Trump will always put himself ahead of us. Voters from Ohio to Florida are being bombarded by ads like these. I had the best words. This is your mother He gets the nomination, they're gonna sue his ass. Attacking everything from Donald Trump's off-color campaign style to his failed business ventures. My job was to sell people on Trump University. You know, I was ashamed to work there. Since late February, more than 23,000 commercials attacking Donald Trump have run nationwide according to the ad tracking group, Kantar Media. Two out of every five TV spots on the Republican side for the last week has attacked Donald Trump in some way. But are they working? Every time you attack Donald Trump, Trump goes up. Attack him again, he goes up further. And yet we're watching all these negative ads about Donald Trump. I, it's crazy, it's, it's hypocrisy, it's foolishness, it's American democracy. CBS News contributor and Republican strategist Frank Luntz has analyzed nearly 300 ads this election cycle, including what he calls one of the least effective attacks on Trump. Trump entrusted convicts to help him run his company. Pathetic. And it's pathetic because it's not, it's not authentic. Show me the real evidence rather than just making claims. And it's very hard to do. And another thing... How much evidence can you show in 30 seconds? You can't, which is why these should be 60-second ads. You can't kill someone who the public has come to trust and have faith in in 30 seconds. It's impossible. Lund says effective ads, even negative ones, have to be credible. If there's one anti-Trump ad that might work, this one's it. We used to have made in the USA, right? Produced by the anti-Trump Our Principles PAC, this attack uses an interview with David Letterman to go after Trump's record of outsourcing. The ties are made in where? China? The ties are made in China. We're taking things Donald Trump has said and we're giving them a megaphone. The group's founder is GOP strategist Katie Packer. There isn't any one silver bullet. It takes a lot of information to convince people that they've been duped. Florida is the first state where our principles PAC has tried to replicate the strategy Packer claims stopped Trump from winning the Iowa caucuses. But Luntz says it's likely too late. If you wanted to defeat Donald Trump, you should have done this 90 days ago. Luntz says that no one is winning the ad battle in this cycle, not only because no ads have really broken through, but also because of the debates. There has been so much focus elsewhere. There have, and the ratings have been huge for those debates. Yeah, what is yeah. it, 12 Republican debates so far, eight Democratic debates, and more on the way. Yeah. All right, Jeff. Really interesting. Thank you so sure. much.